Hello and welcome to this new step-by-step -step blender tutorial to make a tongue in two parts. In the first part we will learn to model the various elements of this simple yet not obvious to make object. And in the second part we will learn how to add hair particles with different colors and look to the same object. And while having fun making our beautiful tongue, we will discover various difficulties you may encounter here or on another project and how to overcome them. You can buy the final project for $3 as a way to support the channel, link in the description. So first we create a cylinder, shift A, mesh <coughs> cylinder. And let's lower the numbers of vertices here to 16, 32 are too much and anyway we will later subdivide our object. Now resize, the meshes created by Blender are very big as Z to resize it on the Z axis only like this. Let's do 3 on the NAM pad to go to this view and now do G and move it like this under the foot if it uh, overlaps a bit with the foot, it's not a problem. Nobody will notice. Now let's do G, X to move it on the X axis like this. Let's go to this view and do X-ray mode. And then uh, go to 7 in the numpad. No, I'm on the upper side. So let's do the opposite of 7. What's the opposite of 7? It's 9. Yeah, now we can see the foot a little bit. So G, let's move it like this here. Maybe rotate it on the Z axis. To make this flat, this face face the foot. Okay, three on the NAM pad. Let's disable uh, X-ray mode. How about the height of it? Is it good? Okay, let's make it smaller. Again, G Z nine on the keyboard, and again X-ray mode. And now we go to edit mode. Uh, choose vertex selects here, and we will start to model this cylinder. So first we enable uh, proportional editing and x-ray mode is selected so we know that we will select uh, these two vertices whenever we select one vertice we will select the other one. Select this guy and do G shift Z so that it moves only on the X and Y axis and not the Z axis. Now we use the, the mouse wheel you see the circle here if it's small we will move only these two vertices if it's bigger we will start to move more vertices so let's make it bigger like this you see already we have a shape that follows the foot let's select these two again G shift Z we select these two G shift Z so I think this is good now we go to uh, object mode <coughs> and add a modifier and it is of course the, subdiv the subdivision modifier you see it's a mess here let's uh, make it to 2 and then go back to edit mode let's hide the baby let's add some loop cuts <coughs> so control R add one horizontal and bring it up here and then control R again another loop cut and bring it down here so now we start to have a beautiful shape now we will do we will go to uh, this guy or two on the keyboard to select edges and do alt left click here and then do E so we'll add something similar to our loop cut on the upper edge with the I key on the keyboard okay so we add one here and you see these uh, it's like stars are forming here that's why we are adding uh, these edges on the top we'll add one on the bottom too so alt uh, left click you see these stars that will these weird shapes will start to disappear because it's a complex uh, face here that has a lot of sides and that's why Blender is translated and translating it in this weird way. It's uh, it's uh, beautiful. You can say it's beautiful, but it's not uh, natural. So let's do I and like this. And you can see that <coughs> already we don't see those stars. Alt, left click, and then we do another one. I, 
like this so and again on the top alt left click i and like this what you can do here is to split this uh, part it's still a face that got a lot of size what is best is uh, to have faces with four sides or three sides more than four sides is not a good face so let's try to do that we go back to uh, vertex selection we select these two these two vertices since we are only working on top make sure that x-ray mode is disabled so that uh, you're not confused by, by all these vertices so select these two hit j on the keyboard select again j j and do the lower parts select these two and now we try to do Control r very nice so select vertices shift select and then j and here to select shift select j so we have this uh, face that has four sides this one three sides and this one four sides uh, four sides on the bottom we could select this edge and do Control r oh nice it worked left right click and then we go again to vertex select we select these guys j what have we done yeah and again Control r yeah let's add the vertice here and then select these two j and then these two and j then at last these two j and these two j so this is it this is almost our final shape of the tongue you see these lines here it's easy we go to object mode and we right click and shade smooth let's unhide the baby and you see now his foot is resting on a beautiful shape okay so now we try to make the upper part we go to edit mode first we go to uh, face select we select this part here there's a trick here if you want to select like uh, a line of faces you select one and then you hit control like this so we selected this kind of arc then you keep uh, hitting control and you left click you left click you left click and then we do control d we duplicated this part right click to put it in its initial place and now we just hit p so we hit here selection separate selection so here we see our selection that uh, was separated as a separate object as you can see so we go to object mode and then we select our new shape and we go back to edit mode so the separated shape have the same uh, modifiers as the initial one the subdivision modifier here and there's a problem here if you can see in the corner uh, we want it to be at an angle but it is as you can see it's rounded uh, as you know there's uh, two options or two modes in the subdivision modifier if it was a simple one we have this angle but we have angles everywhere so this won't help us and that's why there's a trick here we go to edge selection mode and we select these two edges and then we go to item and here you see mean crease there's a zero here we change it to one and we have our angle and now we select these two edges and we hit one here too now we go back to vertex selection and we uh, try to play with this guy we hit G and shift Z so that it doesn't move in the Z uh, axis and we move the sky like this you notice that there is proportional editing activated you can deactivate it if you hit the numpad 7 on the keyboard to go to uh, to look at the tongue from above from the z axis and we use the g we shouldn't uh, it shouldn't move the vertices on the z axis select this and now what we need to do is to uh, unhide the baby and hide the foot of the baby all we need uh, is his foot <coughs> so that we can move the vertices to cover his his foot so let's enable uh, x-ray mode and select this guy and now we will move it on the x axis and we need also proportional editing so i think we need to hit o to activate proportional editing now g and z and we move it up we can use the wheel the mouse wheel to move more vertices but be careful of the edge vertices this one this edge vertices shouldn't move they should stay on ground so 
we hit J, Z, and then we go up like this, and we use the wheel to uh, make this area bigger, but when you see that the vertice on the edge is moving, you go back so that it doesn't move, and you move your guy. Now we can see that it's showing from the skin of the guy. This is what we need. Okay, so we activate X-ray mode again, and we move this guy, G. You see that the edge is moving, this one. So, use the wheel, lower the value from the other side. You can see here that even that we were cautious, this point was moved a little bit. So let's move it down again. G, Z. Like this. Let's disable uh, X-ray mode. And see if we can fix this more. So if after everything, um, you still have the feet outside the tongue or the the shape doesn't look well you can make the tongue itself make it bigger just a little bit so that it fits you see there's a space here our points have moved a little bit so let's go back to object mode uh, let's add a solidify modifier to make this guy thick so keep it like this minus one so that the thickness is inside and not outside but you see that we have some it's like an arc in the end so what we need to do is to go back to edit mode and add a loop cut Control r left click and then we move it with the mouse to the edge and you see already that we have some change in the shape let's now go back to edit mode and try to uh, lower the space here Try to move this guys. G, shift set, and like this. I wish really there was a way to hide the baby and keep only the food. Let's go to object mode and let's go to. Yes, yeah, select the food and then go to edit mode and now we select this guy and do shift D to duplicate it P selection and now we have a mesh only our food so let's hide the baby oh something is wrong here's my food but where is it here <coughs> isn't parented to the baby yes so let's get it out of here let's hide the baby and now we have a food that we can delete later when we finish making our tongue and we can work uh, comfortably we can do seven and still see the food we can go uh, on this side or this side and can see it clearly now let's select everything and do subdivide and here we subdivided our uh, thingy but i don't like this subdivision this kind of subdivision it's not smooth the transition is not smooth so undo Control z uh, back to object mode and we have our subdivision subdivision here let's lower it to just one and uh, apply the subdivision now we have a better shape so we go back to edit mode you see now it's smoother it's much smoother than uh, using the other way but you see some parts of the foot are showing so we need to fix this let's uh, apply our solidi solidify modifier so we hit this we do apply and now we have two layers so that when you we create the ears we don't have a hole so we go to edit mode so we want to extrude our ears it should be roughly one ear in these two faces and another ear in here <coughs> but we will make some subdivisions so that we have a better control on uh, the ears area so control r left click we drag it here left click again yeah this is enough okay let's go to face select and select these three guys here and we will try to extrude them by hitting E and like this you see that it moves in a weird direction so what helps is hitting Z on the keyboard and now we have free control on it like this and then we select these three you see it's a mess here but we will uh, fix that so we control this and then control 
click and then E and then we hit C and then we move it like this. Let's go up and let's hit G and move them like this. Okay, first let's disable this guy. Proportional editing by hitting O and now G and move it like this. What we uh, need to do now is to add a modifier. To add again a subdivision modifier. To see a smoother version of our ears so that we can model them, model them more accurately. Mm, let's select this face only and move it like this. You see, this is a good ear actually. But you see that this curve here is a, a very bad curve, bad curve, bad curve. We want just a little curve here. That's why we want to add another subdivision here. So control R, left click and then move it like this. And you see, this looks nice. We can add more, so more level of subdivision in our modifier. And this looks much better. So let's make these ears longer. Again, select. Select these three faces and let's select these faces too by hitting shift and then clicking. And then we do S, Y, and we resize them like this. What I want to do is to add some more subdivisions in here because I want the inside of the ear to go more inside like to be a little bit hollow here so what we will do is just to subdivide so R left click and take this one here and then R again if we take this face now let's do G Y and Bring it inside a little bit like this. Now we go to the other ear and do the same. So uh, control R. Object mode, disable x-ray. Let's play with it a little bit more. I think here it's a little bit harsh. Here it's too square so maybe these two can move inside like this and these two move a little bit outside and I think we have a better ear now so we can play more with this maybe it's uh, the ear is too thick here yeah they don't look the same a little bit better so you can you can play with this as you wish as long as you wish the problem here I think yeah I think we need a loop cut here click R and this is good. So this is the basic shape of our uh, upper part of the tongue. In the second part, we will learn how to add hair particles with different colors and look to the same mesh. And doing so, we will discover various difficulties you may encounter here or on another project and how to overcome them. You can buy the final project for $3 as a way to support the channel. Link in the description.